Hey boys and girls, we're on lesson 15-1. Make sure you have your workbook and a pencil out. Let's get started. Here's our learning goal for today. I can solve problems involving numerical patterns. For our solvent share, we're on page 593. Emma has $100 in our savings account. George has $50 in his savings account. They each put $10 in their accounts at the end of each week. Complete the tables to see how much uh, each of them has saved after five weeks. What patterns do you notice? Go ahead and have the video pause here and try to fill out the charts. Okay, so they are each putting $10 in their account. So if we start with Emma, she's gonna have 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. He is starting with $50, so then he'll have 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. When, um, he, when we're adding just $10 to that each time. So if we're gonna try to come up with a pattern, at the end of week five, Emma has $150, uh, George has 100. So um, how many more dollars does Emma have or how many less dollars does George have? So we could say Emma always has $50 more dollars, $50 more um, than George. Okay, and I mean, when you start out with a gap like that and you're adding the same amount, that's the pattern that you're gonna see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next part. So our central question says, how can you solve problems involving numerical patterns? Here's our problem that they're gonna go over. Lindsay has a sage plant that is three and a half inches tall. She also has a rosemary plant that's five and two tenths inches tall. Both plants grow the same rate. They're growing at one and five tenths inches each week. How tall will the plants be after five weeks? What is the relationship between the heights of the plants? So their relationship here is gonna be, at the end is gonna be the same as their relationship at the beginning because they're growing the, amount, the same amount each week. So we can create a table to identify the relationships between the corresponding terms in the number sequences. So for the sage plant, we've got three and a half and we're adding one and a half each time. So then it's five plus one and a half is six and a half, plus one and a half is eight, plus one and a half is nine and a half, plus one and a half is 11. And then you'll see the rosemary uh, plant adding one and a half each week. So by the end, when we get to week five, we have 12 and seven tenths versus the sage plant is 11. So you can see that because the sage plant started out shorter, it's gonna end up shorter since it's growing the same rate each week. The rosemary plant is always one and seven tenths inches taller than the sage plant. Okay. So Anthony says the pattern is, uh, the pattern is that the sage plant is always one and seven tenths inches shorter than the rosemary plant. Do you agree? So he just did the inverse of like we said, the. Um, rosemary plant is always one and seven tenths inches taller. He just did the opposite. Is it still true? Yes. This is still true. Um, how does making tables help you identify the relationship between terms in the patterns? Basically what it's going to do is help you organize your data. It's just going to have it organized nicely so that you can compare them easily. So it keeps the data organized so you can compare. Alrighty, step three. If the plants continue to grow one and five tenths inches each week, how well, tall will each plant be after 10 weeks? So we're gonna wanna create a little chart here so we can go back from our chart on the last one. So I'm gonna help us at first. So we've got our sage plant. I'm gonna do a little T-chart and then we'll have our rosemary. Do a little T-chart and we want to get to 10 weeks. So at five weeks, we were at 11 and then at five weeks here, we were at 12 and seven tenths. So we want to get up to 10 weeks. I am going to run out of room, but we will seven, 
eight, nine, ten. I'm just gonna have to write over it. If you guys have scratch paper, it might be good to write it. But we need to add one and five tenths each time to this to get up to that. So this would be 12 and a half. And then we would add one, which would be 13 and a half plus a half is 14. And then we've got 15 and a half, 16 and a half, 17, and then 18 and a half. So our sage would be at 18 and a half inches. Then we've got to do our rosemary. So we're going up still one and a half inches each week. So I'm going to do uh, 12.7 plus one and a half. So seven plus five is 12. Two plus one plus one is four. And we get 14 and two tenths. And let me take a peek back. Did we have a pattern? Yeah, it was it went two, seven, two, seven. So then we're going to have um, 15 up point seven. And then we would have 16, wait, five, six, seven. This is eight, I'm off a little bit. 16.2, oh wait, no, we would have 17.2, sorry, because we'd carry it over. And then we'll have 18.7. And then our final one is gonna be 20.2, going up a half. So by the end of week 10, we're at 18 and a half and 20 and two tenths. So really just creating those charts, adding that one and a half each time, using our um, addition off to the side if we need to, but I started to notice a pattern. Um, it went from a two to a seven and only up one. And then when it went from a seven to a two, it went up two over here because of that carryover we saw on this. All right, let's take a look at number four. If the plant continues to grow one and a half inches each week, how tall will the plant be after 15 weeks? Let's go ahead and talk about that one in group and then move on to work on five through seven down below.